Hi, Ashley. This is April Biss. I am reviewing your work through this video. I think it would be easier to do this um, for feedback, so I'm not typing out all of my <laughs> suggestions. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Uh, good job with um, your newsletter so far. It looks great. Uh, just a few things to, to point out, though, I just to push this further. You do have your copy box flowed nicely. So that is one thing that we, um, that I'm glad to see. So the next uh, ad, I'm sorry, article you'll be placing on, on is the other article, which I think is article one, since you went with article two first, and then you're gonna be putting one here on page three and then four this week. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at your, I'm going to kind of take a look at your paragraph styles and your character styles. Make sure everything's set up right. Character styles. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right. It looks like you have your body copy set to your right page number. So make sure you're, you're actually uh, making that your go to new paragraph style. Actually, delete that, sorry. Paragraph style. And we go to paragraph style, we wanna make this body copy. Times two room, and you wanna do 10 by 14 is a good letting size. So I would switch this to 14. And then um, it looks like you have spaces in between your type here, let me. You could do an indent, a first line indent. If you wanna do that, you just go to your indents and spacing and first line indent, either do that or do a space after each paragraph. And that just kind of allows the viewer to know that this is um, the first paragraph and then the next paragraph if you need be, okay? So because you already set this, the subheads, I'm just gonna individually set the character uh, body copy individually. So I'm just kind of selecting body copy as my style and then in character style hit none, none body copy. Now this would have been easier if you would have set it all in one together, but because you set this as a different paragraph style. That's why I have to do it individually. So it will be easier the next time. Okay. <clears throat> can we can select this. Oh, oh, okay. For some reason I wasn't being able to select that. So I'm gonna have to put that back in there. Okay, so none in character styles, body copy, set good, none, body copy is good. Okay, everything's good. Okay, subheads, let's see if you did that right. Okay, so subheads should be a new character style, but you have it as a right page number. So we're gonna do a new character style. We're gonna name this subhead. And we're just gonna leave everything in here the same, just click okay. Um, then just go in and make sure you highlight every single subhead and give it that subhead character style. That way, if you ever need to change, say the color or the size, the font, anything, you can do it very easily. And I'll show you real quick what I mean by that. So let's say you wanna go in and, oh, you know what? I wanna make this a different color, the subhead. So, Let me set that to subhead basic everything set. Okay, so if I were to do that, watch what happens when I uh, go back into my subhead, I'm gonna double click and watch your subheads change when I click the character color. I'm gonna change it to like a bright blue. See that? Or red. It changes it very quickly all together. Okay, before it wouldn't have been able to do that because you didn't have your, your character style set separately. Same with the body copy. If you ever need to go in there and say, you know, change certain specific, uh, say like the letting, what we changed from 15 to 14, that would just, you know, do it very quickly, okay? 
All right, everything else, I would just make sure that this is hitting on that margin. Everything else looks good. Um, your copy box, if you're putting these, which I think is good, these little boxes behind here, what I would do is make the boxes a little bigger. So maybe for instance, this one goes, you can even bleed this off each side here, all the way across. That way you're not dealing with any weird uh, gutter, you know, issues there. I'm gonna pull this at the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna pull this up one line up. There we go, perfect. Because we still have to put your page numbers in there. Um, the only thing going on with this graphic is it's, it's, it may be getting, oh, no, you do, you have a text wrap on it, perfect. <clears throat> I'm gonna set the text wrap, actually, I'm gonna pull it up so it bumps the creative process to the next line. So just bump that up, that looks good. Let's show it without your guides and without your print preview. So that actually looks pretty good. Um, maybe that would look better. Maybe this would look better if it was all the way up here. And then you just have like a white border on the top and bottom. I don't know. Think about things that you can do. I would probably pull this out so it hits that margin on each side and just kind of looks a little bit better when it's aligned on the margins. Um, and then let's see what else. Let's go to the next page. Same thing here. You know, maybe pulling this off to both sides might be an option. And you're just leaving like the little top part and the bottom part like a white color. There you go. Okay. And let's zoom in here on the copy here. Just fix any widows. I have widows here, so I'm gonna fix some of them by shift returning. Um, there's a widow down here, there's a widow here. I'm gonna shift return, that's a um, considered a soft return. Shift return, oh, it looks weird. Just go back and undo. Just doing shift returns here. Okay, perfect. So that looks good. That looks a little bit more even. I would probably pull this copy box down a little bit more. You have lots of room up here. So let's go ahead and pull this down to like one inch. And you don't have to do necessarily two margins here, like two columns. I don't know if you have that. Let's see. Let's go to text frame options. Yeah, you can take that to one column. And then instead of worrying about, since you have the pictures on that side, you could pull this in more. So your copy boxes maybe thinner. Okay, so it's just one column. And because I put those soft returns in, now my rag's changing a little bit. So I have to go back and fix this. Any weird stuff going on here. Okay, looks good. Nope, nope. I'm gonna weird turn here. So some of these will be fixed. There you go, perfect. All right, and then what I would probably do is I would probably pull this down just so that it's equal on the top and the bottom. So you have an equal space. And pull this up so it's equal space too on the top and bottom. That looks good. Okay, that looks good. So um, the only thing I see missing here is your uh, your page number on the right hand corner, right right corner. It looks like you have one set here. So copy and paste that over on the right corner. So you, you have page numbers on your your right page pages, right side pages. Go ahead and just copy and paste what you had on that left page and just set this to, and I think you already have the left page number setting in here. So let's go ahead and double click on that. Oh, I see what you did. Okay. You don't have to do a character style. Let's see here, hold on, let me see. Okay. 
paragraph panel. You can easily set this to right aligned using the paragraph panel, and then it'll set your style. You want to set it to the right page number. And then just make sure this is set to the left page number. Okay, so if you ever need to change, like say the typeface of this mm -hmm. or the emphasis, like if you want it to be bold, I'm gonna align these so they're perfectly aligned. So go to object align and I'll align these on the top there so they're perfectly aligned. Okay. Save, go back to your pages. So now you have, you should have, <clears throat> you guys should have your page two and you should have your page three. Oh, there's one on delete. You have one over top of that. Just delete that. You don't need that anymore. And then you should have one on page one now, which you didn't have before. And then on page four. Okay. So just a few little tweaks, but I think you're well on your way. Just have to do a couple things um, to tweak that and then move on forward with your part two.